Hello, I'm Stefan Poirier, founder of Poirier Gaming, this channel, and this is a bit of a departure for me as this is my first attempt at a narrative video. I'm using the camera on my MacBook Air and QuickTime video uh, recording feature. As I've said in previous video description, that when No Man's Die works, it is a pleasure to play, but Thursday was not one of those days. I spend the better part of my day off building a pyramid following Scottish Rod's detailed video, link in the description, and I ran into either a new bug or a new glitch or just a problem I've not experienced before. Um, there is a certain lack of flat terrain in this game, uh, which is very annoying when you're trying to build something. And the few times you have flat terrain happens to be um, pre-made structures at the location, which if you build something in capacity that structure, you may block it to for the next player. On one of the plans I have, because I was running out of space in the bases that I have on one world, which may be a paradise world, um, the environment is brutal. It's an Arctic planet, but there are a number of lakes one of them happens to be right next to one of my bases. I actually had built a pyramid at the base, or at the bottom of one of the lakes. So I decided to take advantage of the flat terrain, so to speak, to build Rod's pyramid there. The setup was a number of walls to get above the water line. So the water would be about halfway through the wall. Uh, there was flooring at the base of the wall, and I started working my way up from there, following the description of uh, Rod's video. The ran into one of tiny little issues. I had deleted one wire that I shouldn't have, and that was the one that lets you set up the floor. For the pyramid i had mentioned that i had set up a floor panel at the top of my original wall just above the water and remembering the description of rod's wall i added two small walls connected a wall panel there and it lined up with the base of the pyramid wall so put staircase connecting the new floor to the old floor and there you go sunken atrium just above the water so i'd stopped building the walls at the water level uh, pretty much they were all done the two the walls facing the remainder of the base and one one of the side walls were done all the way to the flower the uh the floor bed there was one added uh, difficulty. There was a sulfide volcano, more or less where the wall of the pyramid and the, flo uh, the floor bed of the ocean or the lake met. I'd actually built a structure around it to contain the blast so my trailer would not get blown around every time I'm swimming, trying to you know, snap into place panels. So I decided to stop the wall building at that point, left the uh, two walls unfinished, but at least finished up to the waterline, uh, to attack the airlock style door. And the first one went okay, but the second one took some effort. Uh, Rod said in his video, and sometimes they just don't want to snap. <laughs> well, shucks. I continued, but I had difficulty placing triangular panels near the containment structure, so I decided to take a break, get a manual save, and actually the game. I come back sometimes later and as I emerge from the building housing the teleporter ring I see half the pyramid seems to be missing. I've had this happen once or twice in the past with structures where the lag in the game seems to build the building while you're watching. This happens a lot actually with the settlement. So I, I just you know I said oh what the heck I'm just gonna dive into the water swim there and it's just lag. It will be fully materialized by the time I get there, except 
it didn't. It was a disaster. Uh, I swam around the structure twice, did you follow, and it never rendered. Uh, now I'm not talking about an entire wall is missing, gosh, Jai, start rebuilding it. No, uh, pieces here, pieces there. And if you tried to snap on a replacement part, it, it just wasn't at all snapping. Matter of fact, they all seem to want to be horizontal as if the pyramid itself wasn't there at all. I shut off the game, uh, almost crying manly tears of frustration and I had supper trying to figure out whether or not if I'd have to nuke the entire base and lose the first pyramid I built, or if there'd be some sort of way of deleting a new one, despite the fact that you couldn't seem to see it. I returned after supper and the pyramid was entirely there. I was able to finish building the walls to the, the bed of the lake, uh, actually eventually replaced the airlock, uh, the lower one, with a moon portal, uh, deleted the glass panels, and were able to swim into the lower structure of the pyramid, which is completely underwater. And uh, well, I'm satisfied with how it looks, uh, but this was, well, disconcerting. Clearly, there's a rendering problem, and mentioning it to a fellow uh, traveler, uh, he said, yes, he had similar problems that day. It's difficult sometimes to enjoy this game. Matter of fact, my cousin gave up playing it, and I suspect it's mostly because of the sarcastic videos I posted on YouTube for him saying, hey, I have ran into this problem today. Uh, well, that's too bad. And, uh, you know, this concludes my first attempt at a narrative video. Uh, I'm going to eventually or get around to looking into software that allows me to take this image or similar video and put it in the lower right or lower left corner of the capture from the PlayStation uh, because, well, uh, I don't know if anyone wants to read a 100 or 200 word description. Uh, so, until next time, take care.